Hi, my name is Steve Ladd and I teach the first year students in the Cabinet Making and Wood Technology program at Thaddeus Stephen. We're training the next generation of cabinet makers and woodworkers. It's a unique bunch that sort of combines technical ability as well as artistic. Along with that, we want to give them skill sets so they'll succeed in industry. Things like showing up on time, proper attire, how to address the public, all of those skills are critical in succeeding in this industry. First semester we have hand and portable power tools. In that class, students are learning the importance of sharpening, of caring for hand tools, chisels, hand planes, layout tools, that sort of thing. That evolves into portable power tools, routers, chop saws, saber saws, once again how to properly control those. Second semester, that'll be a new course, Advanced Machining. They'll be working with more sophisticated power tools, a lot with shapers, power feeders, a little CNC, um, mortisers, all of these types of machines. Our curriculum is strongly project driven. So each project leads to the next. We start out with a simple hand tool, a marking gauge that the students make, leading into either a mirror or a box. The levels of difficulty all vary. Some have inlay, some have carving. It just depends on the piece. Students will then go to a table in second semester to a wall clock or a bookcase. It evolves. Each project builds upon the next. So do the finishes that we put on top of those pieces. First semester is heavily into hand applied finishes. Second semester we'll get into spraying techniques using mostly lacquer. Our goal is to teach students as many ways as possible to do the same thing. Because we don't know what they're going to find when they get to industry, what techniques or facilities the next company will require. We also do a lot of related drawing, course one and two the second semester. That's blueprint reading, drawing, developing cut lists and bill of materials. You can have the best idea for a piece in your head, but if you can't reduce it to a set of drawings for a customer to look at, it's never going to sell. A typical day at Stevens, well, we have what's called theory, classroom work, and that goes 45 minutes to an hour, basically lecture. The rest of the time is open lab, students working in the shop, producing their products, doing samples, doing mock-ups, and doing the actual work. And then on top of that, we have a lot of extra time. Students stay late every day. Wednesdays we have late night till 8.30 or 9. Order pizza Chinese. That's when a lot of work really gets done. In a nutshell, that's pretty much what we do the first year. I'm Rob Tobias, the sophomore instructor. The second year, one of the big uh, courses you'll have is called Advanced Wood Project. Basically, I give it four requirements. One, it should challenge you. Two, you have to do it within the time restraints of the program. Three, you need to have an existing plan. The final requirement of the project is you gotta be able to afford it. Uh, there is a lot of lumber in there, hardware, and if that's a problem, we do have outside companies that can help you with that, that donate stuff, so it's not too much of an issue, but you gotta know that up front. Also in this semester, we do machine maintenance. You'll learn to sharpen machinery, change bearings possibly, change shafts and machinery. We usually do all our stuff in-house, our repair stuff, and that's typical of woodworking shops. Another course we have this semester is our custom knife grinding, where an architect will design a profile they want on their project, and then it goes to the millwork shop to be made, so we can custom grind knives to make any shape possible. The final course in that semester is an architectural woodwork course. We have a housing project that we do, and during that course, students will learn to go to the housing project, do what we call a trim takeoff, where they measure the house for all the trim work that's going in there, the stairways, everything that's going into the housing project. Then it comes back here, we'll grind custom cutters and make custom knives to do all the trim that goes in that house and the stair parts. The final semester is dedicated to the kitchen industry where we use the National Kitchen Bass Guidelines and we have a course called Kitchen Plan and Estimating which again our housing project we go over and we do a measurement of the space we come back here use our guidelines to lay out and build our layout and design a functional kitchen then they do all the estimating of all the material required 
Then it goes into our kitchen cabinet construction class where we will construct the kitchens and actually there's two kitchens uh, and all the bathroom vanities for both houses. So they'll build those start to finish. They will put the finishes on them so they're ready to be installed. The students work in teams and there's two different houses. So teamwork is a large part of that. So that's what we do here at Stevens. This is pretty much a fun shop because there's a lot of projects going on. Hi, I'm Corey McCall, and I'm a second year student here at Thaddeus Stevens College Technology. Hi, Greg Pilati, I'm also a second year student here at Thaddeus Stevens. You don't have to have really any experience in the woodworking or cabinet making field. It's, it's, it's a program where everyone starts off at the same level, even people that have been in programs before. And you start off right there at the beginning, and, and all the projects are tailored towards bringing you uh, a better skill level with each individual project. A lot of stuff we learn here, we learn a lot of the skills you need to design your project, not only build your project. We have a drawing course that we take where you learn to sketch everything, do all measurements, learn to lay out, scale images and everything, and you get to learn, learn every technique on how to build a project from start to the end. A lot of the projects at the beginning, they're based kind of similar to high school projects where the skills are learned in high school, really, you know, a lot of scroll sawing, simple joinery, but as you progress throughout the year, it gets a lot more intense. And then towards the second year, after all the drawing skills, all the machine setup skills, ever, all the bunch of ways to make, make pieces, you know, you get to design your own project, lay it out, get all the measurements, do everything, buy all your own wood, and then make your own project, which is something really neat. I was able to choose a uh, secretary desk that was built in the 1700s, and it's just really neat to be able to actually look at drawings, draw, build, critically think, and immerse yourself into what cabinet makers would have done two and three hundred years ago. It's just a great feeling to be able to build a project like that. The shop is run a lot like a job. You come in at a certain time every day, you have to be on time, you clock in, you have a time card. It's a lot like what you're going to find in the field. It's nice because it gets you ready for the workforce and you understand what is expected of you. Uh, one of the most important things is just to have a positive attitude. You're going to make mistakes. There's, you know, you're around a bunch of people. It's okay. We're all here to learn. It's, it's a great environment. I think you can ask anyone in the shop. I think we have the two greatest professors that you could have, period. The professors are real good and they're there to help you. All your friends are there to help you. You have all the notes, you have so many resources. But a lot of it is you just kind of have to think and figure out what you need to do. You can ask friends, you can ask the teachers, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you really have to think for yourself and figure out everything. That pretty much sums up what we do here at the Cabin Making Program at Daddy Stevens. It's a really fun environment, it's a great program, and it's also nice if we get to get a little dirty. It's real fun, it's a good course. Hopefully we'll see you here.